morning, children. I hope you are very well and you are ready for today's lesson. My name is Teacher Alice. Teacher Peter. Teacher Esther. Coming to you from PCA, PCA Nairobi, Nairobi West, West Sunday School. School. Children, we are going to start with a word of prayer. Please put your hands together, bow your head, and close your eyes. Let us pray. Our dear Heavenly Father, we thank you this morning. We worship you for who you are. Thank you, Father, for this wonderful day you have given unto us, especially that we can come and hear from you, O God. We thank you for so many things you have done for us. Father, we ask, may you forgive us all our sins. And even as we start this lesson, Father, we ask that you be with us. May you guide us with your Holy Spirit. Our dear Lord, we also remember those who may not be feeling well. Father, may you touch them. Father, we ask you be with us as we start, even as we end. And it is in Jesus' name we pray and believe. In Jesus' name we all say, Amen. Amen. Amen, children. I hope you are ready now to dance for the Lord. We are going to ask Teacher Peter to lead us with this song which says, Making Melody to the Kings of Kings. Welcome, Teacher Peter. So children, let's be upstanding with all our energy. We sing to the King of Kings. Making melodies in my heart. Making melodies in my heart. Making melodies in my heart to the king of kings. Thumbs out, thumbs out. Making melodies in my heart. Oh yes, making melodies in my heart. Oh, making melodies in my heart to the king of kings. Thumbs out, thumbs out. Elbows out, elbows out. Oh yes, making melodies in my heart. Making melodies in my heart, oh, making melodies in my heart to the king of kings. Thumbs out, thumbs out. Elbows out, elbows out. Knees bent, knees bent. Oh, making melodies in my heart, oh yes, making melodies in my heart, oh, making melodies in my heart to the king. Of king, thumbs out, thumbs out, elbows out, elbows out, knees bent, knees bent, turn around, turn around. Oh, making melodies in my heart, oh, making melodies in my heart, making melodies in my heart to the king of kings. Let's appreciate the Lord. Amen. Amen, children. May we always dance for the Lord. Now we are going to hear the golden loose. I am here, boys and girls, to remind ourselves about golden loose. Why do we do all these golden loose, children? It's because we have to take care of ourselves to prevent from the disease which is there, corona. So rule number one. Remember to wash your hand very thoroughly. That means use the soap, clean, learning water. You wash, 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 you wash well, then rinse and you dry them. Rule number two, make sure that your hands are very clean and don't touch your eyes, your nose and mouth because whenever you do that, you transfer bacteria to your eyes or your mouth or even your nose. Rule number three, in case you're having a cough, you know sometimes you feel you're sick, you're sneezing, you're having a cough, always use a handkerchief, a serviette, all at the bend of your elbow. So don't sneeze wherever you are because you can transmit bacteria to other people. Rule number four, do you know what is this? A mask, we have been using them, eh? Make sure that you keep them on at all time, especially now we go to school or we are outside playing with other children. And how do we wear them, children? Make sure that you cover your nose and your mouth very well and keep them on. 
Rule number five, in case now you're outside or are going to see friends, make sure that you're not too close, you keep a social distance. Rule number six, it's always safe to stay at home, but when you're at school, keep safe. God bless you. Hello, boys and girls, and welcome to our Bible story section. Last week, we learned about how the children of Israel refused to worship the true God, and they created their own God in the form of a golden calf. And they sinned so much against God, and God was very, very annoyed with them. And now, Today, we are going to learn about how God used one woman to save uh, the children of Israel by giving her a very special task or a special purpose. Many years after Moses had died, God spoke to another man, and this man was called Joshua. And he said to Joshua, Moses is dead. Now you must lead my people to the promised land. And this land I am going to show you. Joshua was a very God-fearing man and he obeyed God. And he said, uh, yes, I will obey. And he chose two people to go into this land that God had promised him to take the children of Israel. He chose two people to go and spy on that land. So these people who were going to spy were spies. Do you know who spies are? Who is a spy? A spy is a person who goes secretly to another land to look and to watch and to learn how those people do their things and then go back to where he had come from and report what he saw. So these two men were sent by Joshua as spies to go into that land. And that place where they went to spy was called Jericho. So when these people got to the land of Jericho, to the city of Jericho, they looked for a place to hide and they could not find a place. Then after looking for a while, they saw a house and they went into this house and hid there. And this house belonged to a woman. This woman was a prostitute, as the Bible tells us. And when they got there, this woman agreed to hide them. Unfortunately, somebody saw them getting into Rahab's house. And these people went and told the king, we have seen two men, and these men are from another land, and they have come here, and they have hidden in the house of Rahab. The king was annoyed. He was very angry, and he said, send the soldiers to go to the house of Rahab and go there and arrest those people. So these soldiers took up their weapons, their spears, and they went to the house of Rahab. And when they got to the house of Rahab, Rahab's house was looking like this. Do you see this house? Does it look nice? The house looked like this. They got there, and when they got to the door, they knocked and said, Rahab, open the door quickly. But you know what, children? Rahab had, had heard that the soldiers were coming. What did she do? She took the two men and told them, shh, come quickly, come quickly with me. And she took them to, her, to the top of her house. And on top of her house, she had put some grass there to dry. So she told them, lie inside here and I will hide you inside the grass. So the spies were put there and they were told, shh, don't make any noise. 
I will come back. So she ran back to the door. And you know what she did? She opened the door. And then she stood there and told the soldiers, Hello, how can I help you? And the soldiers told her, We know that there are men who are hiding in your house. Open the door quickly and we are going to arrest them. Then Rahab told them, Ah, those men, yes, they came, they got here. But when it was time for the gate to cross, they left and they went out. In fact, they followed that route. Quickly, run after them, and I am sure you are going to catch up with them. So the soldiers took off quickly, and they left Rahab's house. They went after the men. But you know what, children? The men had not left Rahab's house. They were on top of her house. So Rahab ran back to where the men were hidden. And she told them, the men are gone. But please, I know that this is the land that God has promised to you. Please promise me that when you come to take up this land, you will save my family and myself, and you will not kill us. Then the men told her, we agree to save you, only if you don't tell those soldiers where we are. And if you promise to hide us and to get us out of the city safely, we are going to give you this. This is a scarlet rope or a red rope. And what we want you to do is to tie it at the, your window like this. You put it at your window. And when we come, we shall be looking for a window that has a red rope. And when we see it, we shall know that this is your house and that your father, your mother, your brothers, your sisters, and yourself are all hidden there and we shall spare you. So the spies told her, once we saw that, we will not kill anybody in your house. So Rahab agreed, and she told them, hide here for three days. After three days, you will go, and nobody will see you. So after three days, the spies left Rahab's house, and they went back to Joshua, and they told him everything they had seen and everything that happened. And you know what, children? When the day came for them to see that, to, to seize the land, they did not kill anybody in Rahab's house. Rahab and her family were spared. And now, children, Rahab was a prostitute, but God used her to hide the spies in her house. It did not matter what kind of sin she had done, but when she agreed to be used by God, God used her for a nice reason. And also, children, God can use you even when things are not so good between you and me. God can use us to help other children in our school, in our family, in our community, and we can be used by God to do good works. Now, children, will you agree that God can help you? Will you allow God to use you for good work? Good, I know you will. And this brings us to our uh, memory verse. Our memory verse today comes from the book of Ephesians, chapter 2, and verse 10. And what does the Bible say? The Bible says that for we are God's handiwork, created in Christ Jesus to do good work, which God prepared in advance for us. Can you say that with me, children? For we are God's handiwork, created in Christ Jesus to, go, to do good work which God prepared in advance for us to do. Thank you, children. Until next time, 
God bless you. From our story today, children, teacher Esther taught us about how Rahab helped the spies. So it's very important for us to work for the Lord. And with that, we are going to sing a song which says, When He Calls Me. Teacher Esther will lead us. Welcome, Teacher Esther. Thank you, Teacher Alice. So children, are you ready to yes. sing the song that says, When He Calls Me? I will do what? I will, I will answer. answer. I will answer. So ready? Let's go. One, two, <coughs> sing. When, when he calls me, I will answer. When he calls me, I will answer. When he calls me, I will answer. I'll be somewhere working for my Lord. I'll be somewhere working, working somewhere. Walking, walking somewhere, walking for my Lord. I'll be somewhere, walking, walking somewhere, walking, walking somewhere, walking for my Lord. When He calls me, I will answer. When He calls me, I will answer. When He calls me, I will answer. I'll be somewhere. Walking for my Lord, I'll be somewhere, walking, walking somewhere, walking, walking somewhere, walking for my Lord, I'll be somewhere, walking, walking somewhere, walking, walking somewhere, walking for my Lord. Amen. Hello boys and girls, welcome to our Bible craft section. I am always excited to host you for this particular section. In our last lesson, we looked at the golden calf and we made some crafts of the calf. And here is part of the work that you did. learned about Rahab and the spies. And so today we are going to make Rahab's house. And so what do you need to make Rahab's house? One, when we get into our crafts box, you will need to have a razor blade, one. Then you'll need to have a scissor, a pair of scissors. You'll need to have a, a, this color of paper or a different color of paper. You'll need to have an A4 paper of any color. I have a green one, but you can have of any other color. You may need to have a third paper of any other color. I have one that is uh, uh, goldish. Then you'll need to have the, the glue. Other than the glue, you'll as well need to have a stapler, and you'll as well need to have some crayons to color your house. And then lastly, make sure that you have the marker pens. While working on the craft, make sure that you have the assistance of your parents, of the person that is next to you, the guardians, uh, because of handling the, the um, razor blade. So now we begin to make Rahab's house and pick on your A4 paper. For me, I have a green one, but ensure that you have one that uh, if it's in any other color, you can still use it. So once you have your paper, it will be now time to fold the paper. So you'll fold it into three equal parts. So right there, we are folding it into three equal parts. So we have like three equal parts. So right 
there you have the three equal parts. The paper is folded up. Then you will fold this part a much uh, thinner line. So there we go. We are folding a thinner line. And make sure that you grease your paper nicely. So there we have greased our paper on the side. And we have made it the thinner side nicely. Grease it nicely. You have your paper greased out nicely. Then once you are done, I just want to show you a sample of what we are making. We are making something like this. So this is Rahab's house, and we'll do it together with the window and everything. So once you've done that, you have already greased your paper. You will pick on your marker pen. It will be time to make the patterns of the wall. So you'll just draw straight lines or lines that are crossing across the paper, across the paper, across the paper, across the paper. Then you'll divide the lines just like that to make the bricks in there. So we are making Rehob's house. And remember Rehob was able to save the spies. So we do that, and once you have done that, pick on your colors. I want to use color red. So I can use color red on one of these sides. There's this side. So I'll use color red. So that wall is colored red. And then once I'm done with color red, I might talk on color yellow or whichever color that you think you love. So I'll use color yellow, 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 yellow. There I, ca I color, 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 color. Then I think I also want to use color purple. So I think this house also had a color purple somewhere. So I'll use color purple. Color purple. And this is a three-sided house. Eh? It's a three-sided house. So that's why we have only three sides. Then you'll pick this end and this end and put them together. We'll put them together. But just before you put them together, we'll try and trace uh, where we'll cut the window. And so children, you'll pick on your marker pen. And after you've picked on your marker pen, you'll draw the place where you'll be able to cut off your window. So there, there, there. So that will be our window. So once you've done that, pick the the razor blade, then it will be time to cut there. Make sure that you are careful enough. Then also ask assistance from your, the people that are around you, either your mom, dad, brothers, you know, your elder brothers or elder sisters. So you can do that. Cut that through like that. We are almost done with the cutting. So there we are. We have our window right there with us. You could decide to either put in another window just like the way we've done with another color, or you can just fold the paper the way we have folded it like that to create the window. Then once you've done that, it will be now time to put the house together. So once you've done that, you could e either use the glue to do that, but because of time, I'm going to use a stapler so that it can hold quite fast. So there I'll use a stapler. Then I turn on the other side. There, I use a stapler again so that it holds into place. So there we are. We have our house coming into shape. So once you've done that, remember we are told in that story that the houses had a flat roof. So I'll fold that into two equal parts. Then I'll get my scissor, then cut at the middle so that I get a roof. Then with the glue, we'll be able to put the glue up there, just on the, on the top there. I hope you can see what I'm doing. We are almost coming to the end of the craft. So let's begin. So right there. Then we'll put the roof right up there. So we have a pink roof. We have the house in green paper or in green color. And so this is Rehab's house. And this house was used to save the spies. So what we will write, 
somewhere here, we'll write Rahab's, Rahab's house. And then right here, I'll write teacher Peter, because that's my name. So there we have our house already done. But then before you leave your table where you have been working on, make sure that you clear your table and clear your space nicely. So I'm cleaning up, cleaning up, cleaning up, cleaning up, cleaning up. And there I put them into our crafts basket or our crafts box. And here we have our houses nicely done. And so children, we are always excited to see your work. If you would want us to see your work, kindly send it to the number that is appearing on the screen right now. Thank you and God bless you. Hello boys and girls. This is our Bible quiz section. Last week, we were supposed to read Exodus chapter 32 from verse 1 to 20 and answer some questions. Here are the answers. This week, children, we have learned the story about Rehab and the spies, please read Joshua chapter one and chapter two and answer the following questions. Thank you very much children for your participation. We really love to see your answers. We shall give the, uh, we shall mark them and give you the answers next week. God bless you. It's your birthday. Happy birthday. It's a great day. have come to the end of our lesson today and I'm going to invite teacher Esther to close for us with a word of prayer. Thank you teacher Alice. Children, let us put our hands together, close our eyes and bow our heads and pray. Dear loving Father, we come before you just to say thank you, thank you, thank you Lord. Thank you for taking us through this lesson and teaching us so many things, dear Lord, about how to serve you and to be used of you. How we pray, dear Master, that you're going to use us for your work. As your word says that we are, we are handiwork created by you for good works. We pray that you use us to do good works for you. Help our parents, help our siblings, Help our friends and our teachers and everybody who comes in contact with us. For this is our prayer of faith in Jesus' name. Amen. 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 And now may the grace of, of our Lord, Lord Jesus Christ, Christ and, and the love of God and the fellowship of the Holy Spirit be with us now and forevermore. forevermore. Amen. 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 Children, we thank you very much for being with us throughout the lesson. I'm sure you have learned a lot. So have a very wonderful week. God bless you. And remember, stay, stay safe. Bye-bye.